Right, so, if you all saw me getting dressed yesterday, then you'll know, oh, there we go, then you'll know that um, this is going to be the final video of me during Lent. Um, there's still going to be some aftermath videos, I think there's going to be probably one tomorrow that I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, this this is the final update on how things have gone, how things are going. It's now Easter Sunday. Um, now obviously, people that understand how Lent works should know that actually I shouldn't be in a suit today, or at least I shouldn't need to be in a suit today. Um, but it, I can't, I can never remember how I do it from year to year. This year I've decided that since I don't do, I don't give up Lent on Sundays throughout the year, throughout the year, throughout the Lent, um, that it doesn't make any sense to give up Lent on the final Sunday, um, that is Easter Sunday. Um, I'm not doing it for religious purposes, so it, it, it's, it's as, it makes as much sense to just do Sunday as well. Um, that and, you know, I'm coming to visit my parents, hence the swanky surrounds. And I'm not sure if you can see that towel over there. That's not my towel. It just happens to be hanging up there. Um, and, you know, this is, this is my parents' house. It's not my fault if it's all a mess. Um, and, yeah. So, um, uh, there's not really too much, obviously, that that, that you've all missed because I lead a boring life. Um, I did, um, at one point, clean a stain that was on my um, on my blue suit. My, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it last time, but yeah, my my blue suit managed to get itself a um, a sweet chili sauce stain, sort of up up here, um, and I managed to get it off. Um, it was sort of two or three days old by the time that I did it. Put a bit of talcum powder on it, brushed that off. Um, then I got some um, some wool detergent. Um, so I think uh, it's the Tesco Expert wool detergent. Um, rubbed that, or well, I say blotted it more like directly onto the stain, um, and then just straight washed it off, which is dangerous because um, that's the, the the thing that you're always meant to be careful of. If you get a greasy stain, do not put water on it. Water will just drive the grease into the suit. So, um, so yeah, if that detergent hadn't done the trick, it would uh, just washing off the detergent would have made life far worse for me. Um, but it didn't. It worked pretty much perfectly, um, and I I had good as new suit at the other end of it. It's always that blue suit for some reason that gets it. I say that. Um, this one, apart from the, the grease stain that we know and love that's over here, that actually has pretty much disappeared by itself just through the ravages of time. Um, I managed to get myself a bit of lasagna onto this side, but this time I was at my parents' house and therefore um, we had talc close at hand and that's always the thing to do with a grease stain soon as it happens get some talc onto it it'll soak up that grease and then you can just brush it off um, you need to find a brush finding a brush is not easy um, but yeah um, I tend to use my um, my shoe brush which is probably dangerous because there's always a risk that you're going to end up getting polish all over your suit um, but there we go uh, with, there's actually a brush in the house here that we use for cleaning things out it's not as stiff as I'd like it to be but it did the job um, and then you can just get in there with your nail to get the final bits off and it's fine. Um, so yeah, that worked out really nicely. Um, oh, also, yesterday um, I went to a cocktail party. So obviously to prepare for the cocktail party, I made sure I shave properly. Um, normally when I shave, I just go down with the grain. This time I went all out, went down with the grain, against the grain, back with the grain again. Always finish with the grain, otherwise you will end up with ingrown hairs. But the problem was as well that I thought, oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim my beard as well to make it look good. And as you might be able to notice, I don't know if you can. Um, obviously, you're not going to see it on that side because there's headphone in the way. Um, headset. Um, is that actually I had it on the lowest setting, my beard trimmer. Um, I had it down to three millimeters. That's a one. Um, normally, I do my beard on 15 millimeters, which is a five. Thereabouts, assuming that the gradations on there are actually accurate, which they're almost certainly not, but still. Um, it meant that I managed to get my beard much, much lower down than I was expecting to before I realised. So obviously I had to do the other side as well, style it out, make it this whole like gradient thing that's going on there. Sorry, that you're probably hearing some god-awful banging from me accidentally tapping the microphone. Um, so yeah, that didn't go great, but styled it out. Nobody noticed, or at least nobody said anything. Um, which is probably worse. But there we go. The cocktail party was nice. Um, I learned to play Nerds 
which is a ridiculous game that I am terrible at, but is a lot of fun as well. Um, and I'm sure that if I were to practice at it, I would get much better at it. Um, as it stands, I was the only person that managed to get a negative score by the end of it. <clears throat> and the end of it being by the time that somebody got 100 points. Um, so yeah, that was that was my flatmate that did that. She's very, very good at fast card games. Probably at other card games as well. Apparently her family really enjoys the card games. But anyway... Um, I suppose at the end of Lent we have to, you know, take stock and think what we've learnt, what's been difficult, and as ever, the most important thing that we learnt is that um, it's not that difficult. Um, there's there's always, you know, somebody in the world that that just does whatever you've given up as standard. You know, you've given up chocolate for Lent. There's somebody out there who's allergic to chocolate and that's their entire life. Um, similarly, when I went barefoot for Lent, you know, thousands of millions of people, that's their life. They've never even heard of shoes. Um, eating with my hands every single time I tell somebody that's Indian about that. They say, what's so impressive about that? And they say, oh, but I was like eating stuff like curries with it. Still, what's so impressive about that? Um, yeah, um, obviously I wasn't mopping stuff up with naan. That doesn't make a difference. Um, and and yeah, same thing. You know, wearing a suit for a lot of people, that is day in, day out. That's what they do. Probably they take it off when they get home. But, you know, the difficult bit of wearing the suit was having the suit on when you feel uncomfortable in it. Um and and actually having to go through the rigmarole of putting it all on in the first place and of course you know for all the women out there that actually bother making an effort um not that there's anything wrong, wrong with not making an effort um then you know they're very much used to that rigmarole of every day having to go out there with your face on it, you know it's going to be the same sort of effort as having to go out there with your suit on you know the the half an hour that it takes me to put my suit on no worse than the half hour that, uh, that it takes to um to put on makeup, to put on mascara every day, and um, yeah. So yeah, and you know that's that's always the most important bit is one realizing that other people always have it worse, and two realizing that no matter how hard life is going to get, no matter how ridiculous things get, you can persevere, you can get through it, you can learn to live with it. Um, and you can make do. Um, and that's kind of why I always put like the ridiculous rules on it. And it's like, well, you know, you're, you've only yourself to blame, but you know, it's, you've got to make it hard on yourself. You've got to make it a proper challenge if you're going to bother doing it. Um, and, and yeah, that's what I want to be. I have no idea what, what next year should be. Um, if anybody wants to give me ideas of what next year should be, um, keep in mind they have to not get me fired from my job um, or anything along those lines. So, yeah, I mean, there's loads that I would love to do, like uh, giving up talking, giving up technology, that kind of thing. Um, but they're not things that I can really get away with um, and still have a job by the end of it. So unless I were to take, you know, 46 days of holiday, which I do not have, um, then, yeah, that's not really going to happen. Um, I might be able to get close. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, any ideas, definitely let me know. And yeah. Uh, oh, right. Yes, of course. Um, silly things I've done in my suit. Um, obviously, I'm doing everything in my suit. Um, but my flatmate was kind enough to hold the camera while I did yoga. Um, this will, of course, um, be something of great consternation to people who have heard me say, why would I want to do yoga? And it turns out why I would want to do yoga is so that I could do it in a suit. All right, my friends, so today we're going to begin in Downward Facing Dog. Get on into your dog and just take a second to stretch it out. Why not? Oh, yeah. Then from your down dog... We're gonna step the right foot up into our lunge. Go ahead and lower the left knee. And let's just take a second here to explore the body. So the thing about the foundations is we're breaking the pose down, but I also wanna be mindful of the fact that this might be the first thing you've done all day and you might be a little tight or a little sore. And so we're not trying to like cram our foot into the shoe or, you know, you know we wanna kind of ease into it, stretch into it. Uh, that's a good note for teachers too. 
you know, if you're demonstrating things, you want to make sure that you're stretched out and warm as you demo things. Okay. So that you don't hurt yourself. Okay, so then we're going to come into this nice low lunge. Back knee is lowered. Front knee is stacked over front ankle. Then go ahead and bring your right fingertips over to meet your left. And then we're going to walk our right toes out towards the outer edge of that right side of the mat here. Then I'll come onto my palms. And I'm still connected through my foundation here. So knee on the ground and toes really mindful on the earth. So now right toes are out. I press away from the earth and I'm just going to hang here. So I might be on the fingertips, a lot going on here, or I might be on the palms. So if you're not able to find a little extension in the spine, maybe open your chest towards the front of your mat here, then stay up nice and tall and work on that. If you are kind of able to find a little integrity in the spine, a little connect with the neck and shoulders, then maybe you do slowly lower down, coming to the palms, or maybe even to the forearms here. So we're working at all different levels. If you're like not in a million years, you'd be surprised with a little bit of practice, you could probably lower these forearms down safely and feel good. So we're here, we're here, we're here, we're on a, on a prop if we need to. And then we find our breath. If you're feeling like you want a little more heat and you're ready to explore, you might lift the back knee up or you can keep it lowered. And we can do that in any variation here. Breathing into the tight spots. And if you're like, what does that mean? Breathe into your hips, baby. Send breath. That means take fuller, deeper breaths. And then the dismount, the release is really important here. More important than I think you might think. We don't want to just oh, topple out or rush out. We're going to come out of it with the same mindfulness. So walking the palms back up, inching the right foot in back to center as we bring the right fingertips around. And then from here, I'll lower the back knee if I haven't already. And I'm going to think up and over as I send my right hip crease back. Once again, this time coming onto the right foot, really flexing the right toes up towards the sky. And I inhale, find that extension just like I had in my lizard variation. And then on an exhale, rounding forward. So just a little counter pose here to keep it real. One more breath here. Not sinking all the way back here, but I'm keeping uh, the hip pretty stacked over the front knee or the left knee, excuse me. Deep breath in. And then on an exhale, we'll roll through the right foot, come back to that low lunge, plant the palms and send it to downward facing dog. Deep breath in and long breath out. If you're like, whoa, Nelly, new to the practice, need to chill, lower the knees and take a rest in child's pose. Otherwise, we'll stay in downward dog for two more breaths. Great. If you're in child's pose, come on back to downward facing dog. And then nothing fancy here. We step the left foot up into our low lunge. Lower the back knee, right knee comes down. We find our foundation here, just nice and strong, connecting to the toes of the back foot, but also really kind of letting that awareness travel to my center, my core, my shoulders, right? So I'm not isolating any part here. I'm kind of moving as one part, moving as one moving part. That was redundant, but at least I got my point across. Okay, here we go, walking the left toes out now. And then bringing that left finger, the, that left palm and those left fingertips to each his own here, around to meet the right. So take your time getting into this. Trying to just allow you a little bit of time to play. Again, we're not trying to, you know, just kind of shove into the shape here, but really give ourselves um, the time and space to experiment and explore. That's the beauty of this Foundations of Yoga series. So maybe eventually you come on to the palms. And again, I just invite all of you to open your heart forward and really pay attention to the extension of the spine here first. And then once you feel like you've integrated that, even just the awareness may not look exactly like mine, but the awareness, then we can start to play here. See if you can really kind of lift away from the earth. So although we're sinking the hips down low, we're not just kind of mindlessly dumping all the weight. There's a little bit of press into the palms, a little bit of press into the elbows. Maybe you lift that back knee up, maybe not. Left hip crease gently pulls back and the lower belly is engaged. Wherever you are, take one more full breath cycle in. 
and out. And then we'll slowly unravel. Um, I have no idea if I'm doing the yoga right or anything like that. I just followed what lady on the internet was doing. Um, I'm pretty sure I wasn't doing any of the breathing or anything like that. I was just trying to make sure that I was matching the positions that that, that lady on the internet was showing me. Um, I think Adrian or Adrian was 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 her name. Um, and I'll, I'll links will happen. Um, but yeah, so so that that's about it. So tomorrow. I will not need to be wearing a suit. Um, I will probably do cargo pants and a t-shirt. Um, probably going to go barefoot as well because I have been wearing shoes a lot. Um, and wearing shoes all day with the socks in there, they go, oh, they get sweaty and horrible. And I just, why are people not barefoot all the time, honestly? Um, I think I might also go out and buy some, some work boots, you know, like the old, the old like 90s yellow ones. Um, I like those. I, I used to have those when I was like, late teens and I enjoyed them um, they seem like the right thing to wear when you're being casual so I might I might buy some of those that's that's what I've gotten out of this length buying some work boots um, but yeah I'm still not looking good enough I don't think to to rock my my favorite t-shirt um, if people have seen my video of me getting dressed you may feel free to tell me otherwise um but i won't believe you so near yeah, there we go um and yeah that's it um as ever I've, actually, I've not been timing myself let's see what i have been timing myself just got to switch to the timer and uh, oh that's only 10 minutes fantastic i'm sure i'll be able to pad that out with me doing yoga in fact i know i'll be able to pad that out with me me doing yoga um which of course you you will have seen by this point so there we go um so yeah that's about it. Um, as I say, I'll see you tomorrow with some aftermath, um, which I'm, I'm sure will be delightful to watch. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it at that. Goodbye.